This is Annie. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Double unders and sit ups for time. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm gonna be honest, out of the others that I've done so far today, Greece and Diane, Iani was the hardest. I think there was a little residual fatigue from uh, sit-ups during quarterfinals. My abs were cramping on the set of 40, which wasn't great. Dubs went great, all fast, unbroken sets, just definitely slowed down here. And it was the most painful of the bunch because I got two raspberries, one up high and one down low. I'm gonna flip to the camera so you can see it. Can you see it up high? It feels like it's burning across the top and then it's probably a little something down here. Yeah, so that started burning on the first set of 50 and I was just every set trying to like grit my teeth and just keep moving through it. Doesn't feel great. Uh, I would recommend maybe if you're gonna do any next time, do it on like, you could put an ab mat on a handstand push-up mat, something besides the floor where there's gonna be friction every time. Um, those were my two qualms. But I think it's a good workout. You're gonna get a solid core pump. It's a good opportunity to practice your double unders. Tips, if you don't have unbroken double unders yet, take the time there to like, Breathe before you start your set. Make sure you find your rhythm. I used to, when I was learning double unders, go double, double, single, or double, single, double, single, and then eventually just get the singles out. That's kind of what I'm doing now as I'm relearning how to do the crossover double unders. I can do a crossover dub and then I have to add a single in. Crossover dub, add a single, and eventually, hopefully, I'll just pull them out. So that would be a tip if you're still trying to learn those dubs. If you already have them down, couple of tips that make them a little bit more efficient. I like to like think about keeping my feet pinned together because there's less surface area there for you to trip on then. So my feet are touching, keeping that pretty small, and then just spinning a little faster at my wrists and jumping off the ground a little less. Aaron and I raced in the first set of 50 double unders. I got him by a few reps, but then he smoked me on the sit up So it wasn't even worth it. Um, the sit up tips. I don't think there really are any. We don't do ab mat sit-ups very often. You're supposed to have your low back kind of round right over the pad. I think you're supposed to do butterfly. I'm not really sure what the standard is, whether your feet are together and your knees are split out to the side or if you can have your feet flat on the ground. I also believe that you're supposed to touch the ground behind you and touch your feet as you sit up every time and try to get your shoulders up to at least hip level. Um, Tips on those, just find a rhythm. If you need to take a quick breath, go for it. But even when your abs get tight and crampy, keep moving. That's it. Good luck, Annie. Good work.